Na, 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 na. Hello, this is American, American Sign Language, Language News. My name is Josh. And I am Gentil. Today we will be talking about William Stokey, a man who greatly affected the deaf community in many ways. For William Stokey, this is how people saw sign language. Nowadays, this is how people see ASL. Thanks, William Stokey! <coughs> William C. Stokey Jr. Um, was born in New Hampshire July 21st, 1919. While, um, while he was at working at Gallaudet University, he uh, researched American Sign Language extensively. Stokey graduated from Cornwall Cornell University uh, in New York uh, in 1941. In 1946, he received his PhD in English, also from Cornwall, Cornell. Um, from there, he became an instructor of English as, at Wells College uh, in uh, Aurora, New York. From 1955 to 1970, he served as a professor and chairman of the English Department of Gallaudet University. He published Sign Language Structure, Sign Language Structure, and co authored uh, a Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles in 1965. I am done speaking. Through the publication of his work, he was instrumental in changing the perception of ASL from that of a broken or simplified version of English to that of a complex and thriving and natural language in its own right with an independent syntax and grammar as functional and powerful as any found in the oral languages of the world. Because he raised the prestige of ASL in academic and educational circles, he is considered a hero in the deaf community. Stokey invented a written notation for sign language, now called Stokey Notation as ASL had no written form at the time. Unlike sign writing, which was developed later, it is not pictographic, but drew heavily on the Latin alphabet. William Stokey did not want to write sign language, which was commonly done before. He wanted to show and prove that sign language was its own and separate language. He went studying and started to pick apart the English language and form signs and separate symbols to prove the language of signing was separate from English and other languages. After picking apart the English language, he learned signing had three parameters of location, movement, and handshake. He eventually came up with this, some of these signs or symbols that show the three different parameters. I'm here with William Stokey talking about the role he played in ASL. So, William, what were your motives behind formalizing ASL? Well, Meredith, I was a professor and um, I realized that a lot of students who were deaf were not being uh, given the same opportunities as um, hearing students. So, and that just wasn't right. I, I believe everyone should have the same right to education. Oh, I see. So, what were your influences? Um, the civil rights uh, movement has influ influenced me a lot. It um, it has there's a movement going out for all people to have equal rights, and that's um, that ties in with ASL and the deaf community also. On a brighter note, what are some of your favorite bands? I'm very fond of the Who, uh, but I definitely prefer the Beatles. Oh, well, I'm Meredith, and this is William Stokey. Thanks for tuning in.
We'll be back right after these messages. Kicks. K I X. Eat your kicks. Da -na 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 -na. We just like to say thank you to all the hard work William Stokey has done for the deaf community. Thank you. Thank you, William.